Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Favstar and in today's video I'll be continuing my Lake Life project with the installation of the exterior cladding on my DIY dock storage building. For this project I've chosen green lap siding accented with white trim. Finishing with cedar shakes in the gable ends. This will give me that authentic craftsman style cottage look. Welcome to Lake Life. Alright guys, welcome back to my cottage. Now on this channel, I'll be covering all things lake life. Now this includes outdoor adventures, boating and cottage lifestyle tips, and lake life inspired DIY projects just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Without further ado, let's get back to the exterior cladding. Alright guys, now the first step before we start installing the trim is to secure the building wrap around the building with sheathing tape. I'll tape any overlap seams. Around the door jams. as well as the base of the building. All right, now before I even began framing the shed, I chose to install an L flashing around the shed perimeter which passes underneath the deck boards. As a result of this, we won't need any base wall flashing below the siding or trim. We can cut the trim to length and install directly on the building. I'll be applying a white exterior latex paint to the cut ends of the trim as an extra layer of protection.
All right, guys, for my siding, I've chosen an eight inch wide engineered wood lap siding. It's essentially an OSB product with a wood grain design on the front face. Now, unfortunately, the color I wanted is no longer available, so I've purchased the siding pre-primed, and I'll be painting it to match my main cottage building. Since this brand of siding has no spline on the back, I'm able to choose my own custom overlap, which will allow me to keep a consistent reveal, even with my piece at the top edge of the wall. Creating a story pole with markings for the top edge of each piece will ensure that the siding is installed level and with a constant amount of reveal. I'll use the story pole to mark the siding locations on the building. I'll also measure and mark the stud locations. I'll install the siding with an air nail gun and two inch nails, making sure to hit the studs whenever possible. I'll start by ripping what'll become my top row of siding first to match my reveal. And I'll use the leftover piece as a starter strip to create the appropriate bevel for the bottom row of siding. For the cedar shakes, I'll be using natural western red cedar. I'll leave a seven inch reveal between rows. I'll secure the shakes to the wall with one inch long narrow crown staples. And I'll be sure to staple above the seven inch reveal line. I'll make sure that the seams don't overlap and I'll double up the bottom row to prevent water penetration. Now because it's a fairly small building, there'll be lots of cutting involved. Now the simplest way I've found to do this is to start with your end row piece. Make a cut which creates a triangular starting piece. 
Then use that piece to mark your next piece. Continue this process until you no longer require cuts. It's a slow process, there's no shortcuts. You just need to take your time and you'll get there. The final step is to seal the building with exterior caulking. Now I'll cut the tip off square about one quarter inch in diameter. Apply the caulking at a constant speed with constant pressure on the gun. There's no need to tool the caulking or wipe with your finger. Just leave it and it'll settle over time. All right guys, that's it for my dock storage shed exterior cladding. If you enjoyed this video or learned something useful, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.